This video is gonna be brought to you by G Fuel, and as a 90s baby, I'm super proud to say that G Fuel has just released the Duke Nukem Eagle Boost Collector's Box. It's a hail to the king, baby, because gaming's best bad boy is finally here. You got a groovy zero sugar combination of cherry, orange, and pomegranate that is sure to have you firing off on all cylinders, dropping heat via witty one-liners, and shooting off aliens into outer space like my favorite boomstick toting king of the world, Duke Nukem himself. I mean, not only are you getting this super amazing Duke Nukem, Nukem shake along with the energy tub, but also you're getting an amazing flavor. As you guys know, I love to drink G Fuel. I use it myself. It's one of the things I use for a quick energy boost. As you guys know, I upload on three YouTube channels and I still find time to work out. And sometimes you need that pick me up and I love G Fuel because I don't crash after I use it. By using my link in the description box, you can either buy the Ego Boost Collector's Box, which comes with both the energy formula tub and this super amazing Duke Nukem Shaker, or you can buy the energy formula itself. On top of having zero sugar, you also get a healthy dose of antioxidants and vitamins and just enough caffeine to bring out your inner hero. So don't hesitate. Use my affiliate link down below or use my promo code Kage at checkout to get yours today. After the enormous success of 2015's Board to the Movie, which capped off the 14-year celebration of Naruto's manga in the form of the Naruto New Era Project, a continuation of the Naruto story in the form of official spin-off mangas, light novels, and a pair of movies, as well as a stage play celebration and special exhibits all throughout Japan, there was one rather interesting piece of original art that the Naruto series creator Masashi Kishimoto released that grabbed the attention of fans everywhere, which is the artwork that would eventually be included in Boruto Naruto Next Generation's manga volume number one. And that piece of art has showed us the new generation of Team 7 with their various future power-ups. Miski was shown with his Sage Mode transformation, Sarada was shown with her Mangekyo Sharingan, the exact same pattern that would eventually be shown at the end of Boruto Naruto Next Generation's when she awakened the eye, and finally, we had Boruto Zamaki with a very iconic set of power-ups. The first was Boruto with both Byakugan eyes and the second was Boruto with a Kurama chakra cloak that was slightly darker in color than the one that Naruto had. Whereas Naruto's chakra mode was a bright yellow, Boruto's color was a mix between the bright yellow of Naruto's cloak and a darker shade of yellow for the skin tone and the chakra cloak was a cross between a dark reddish purple with whispers of yellow at the tips. It caused a bunch of people to wonder if maybe this was foreshadowing or maybe this was merely a concept, but all these years later, almost nine years since the design was first shown, we've seen everything except for this chakra mode and that brings us to the topic of today's video which is given the recent spark of Boruto's manga showing us that Himawari for reasons undisclosed as of this video happens to have Biju chakra inside of her are we about to finally see Kishimoto's last piece of art come to life a Biju chakra mode for Naruto's children now for full transparency even though the video I made on Kryptonian Saiyan has been privated along with all the other Naruto videos videos on that channel, I did used to take the stance that this was never happening in any way, even when Miski's design was confirmed for shortly after this art piece dropped. But once I saw Sarda's Mangekyo Sharingan pattern was exactly what it was and Kishimoto drew this artwork, I said in that review as well as in the spoiler video for that chapter that we might need to have the conversation on board to getting that chakra mode being shown because it was the final piece of the puzzle that we hadn't seen yet. So I want to throw that out for transparency because I know that there are some OG viewers from that channel who likely remember me taking that very definitive it's never going to happen stance. However, when two out of the three things have been brought into the story since this image has been released, it almost feels like it's inevitable. A matter of when and not so much if especially with all the teases of Himawari having a hidden power getting more and more obvious. It's that last point that really has me wondering, has there been an audible call? Because Boruto was one picture with BG Chakra Mode and not Himawari. I'm not saying we write it off altogether completely, but I do think there was a pivot to Himawari that might have taken place, and the reason for it goes back to why Boruto never had his Byakugan in the first place, which goes back to Kishimoto making the mistake towards the end of Naruto's manga by his own words because he felt rushed near the end and didn't think he was going to meet the deadline Shueisha gave him for when Naruto's final chapter would be running in Weekly Shonen Jump, particularly since the last chapter would have a few pages that were colored, which is more work on Kishimoto and his staff of seven assistants, which 
included Boruto's current illustrator Mikio Ikimoto, things that he would have addressed in another manga volume by his own words he couldn't get to because of the deadline there would be no extra manga volume and there were mistakes made as a result like him forgetting to give Boruto Himawari the Byakugan in Naruto chapter 700 which led to that infamous line of him saying that if he didn't figure out a way to explain it he'd just give Naruto and Hinata a third child with the Byakugan because the eyes were supposed to be given at birth which I've gone in detail in a video why Naruto almost had a third child which I'll leave linked in the end credits and it's one of my favorite videos that I've ever had someone edit for me so recommend checking that out now the point here though is that there was a pivot made in that instance Himawari awakened her Byakugan Keke Genkai in both eyes something that up until that point prior the Byakugan was never something people awakened it was something that we were always shown you were just born with but Boruto never awakened his own Byakugan in the anime you have the power that Teneri awaken inside of Boruto according to the Boruto Academy novels that Kodachi wrote and in the manga he's been shown using Momoshiki's Byakugan in one eye when he's in that true essence of karma transformation. I think we can write off that being a potential possibility of something we can expect but Himawari is where it gets interesting. Just looking and it is where we are currently right now in the story she would check off the boxes of what we have at board so in that original artwork the Kishimoto used for foreshadowing nine years ago Himawari has both Byakugan eyes like Boruto does in that picture she's now confirmed to have Biju chakra inside of her it was first sensed by Damon who didn't know what the power he sensed in Himawari was he just knew it was high enough that he expected her to dodge his attack that he called easy for her to dodge despite it being something at point blank range Jura has stated he sensed Biju Chakra coming from Himawari with him being able to sense it because he was made from the Tintail. There's something clearly being set up with their Chakra mode being different just as Boruto's Chakra mode was slightly different from the original artwork. Could that be pivoted and transferred over to Himawari? That very much could be the case just given that Boruto's character has taken a turn from where we were first introduced to him in 2014 in Naruto chapter 700 and in mid 2015 when Boruto the movie dropped and then this original artwork dropped at the end of 2015. Taking a step further, the reveal of a Biju chakra inside of Himawari would build on something that Boruto has played around with in the past when it comes to Biju Chakra, which is linking it to science. Much like many of the other things in the Naruto world that revolve around science to some degree, right now in the Boruto era. Back when Burial Mode was first revealed, I did a pair of video essays on Burial Mode and the significance of the Burial Mode plot twist. One of the things I pointed out was how the form itself progressed the color of Naruto's Chakra Cloaks in a very similar manner of the cycle of a star. The Biju Cloaks that we saw Naruto use progressed as time went on, from Naruto struggling with the chakra the nine tails and the chakra cloak resembling what some Frodo star phases look like when a star is being born just as Naruto in the early phases was only beginning to use Biju chakra then the Tari phase resembled the color of Naruto's chakra cloak when he gained full mastery of Kurama as a golden yellow like appearance when it progressed again it became the color of a red giant that dark red color that had hints of orange and gold inside of it and that was Naruto's burial mode. In the coloring for the chakra mode that Boruto had, part of the cloak stood out, in particular the one that had that dark reddish purple pinkish color around the edges of the cloak because it resembles the edges of some versions of a planetary nebula. For the people that think that that might be something special, something potentially different about Himawari's chakra, this could be it. Considering that a planetary nebulae are a product of a star shedding and lighting up the outer layers towards the end of their life cycle before the end. Given how much we've seen science and stuff with stars and the universe being played into the story so far, with the Otsutsuki clan being parasitic celestial aliens from the stars themselves, it could be something worth mentioning as for the reason behind the color. Himawari getting the cloak, chakra mode that Boruto was supposed to have, that could be something in play. I don't see Kishimoto going two for three with everything that was revealed. Then again, you could argue this is technically two for three since it's not actually Boruto, but if the concept itself is reused, 
that would explain it and it would finish off everything that we've been introduced to so far. This wouldn't be the first time that plans have been changed for something different in the Naruto franchise. It's actually happened quite a bit. That's why I strongly recommend those honest truth Naruto videos that I have on the channel. Like for instance, whether it be the first Naruto fan book revealing to us that the third Hokage was supposed to be a dog and then Kishimoto revealing to us in his Kobayashi interview during Naruto's manga run in Weekly Shonen Jump that he at one point all also considered making the fourth Hokage a dog, just like he wanted to make the third Hokage a dog, with plans to introduce Naruto's father later on as a non-Hokage before his first editor Yahigi scrapped those plans, which in hindsight, that was definitely for the better. Just as making the Akatsuki monsters instead of ninjas, that was definitely for the better. But the plans being altered in a series as it gets further into development is not uncommon. Similar to how Spy Family's mangaka had plans for Anya Forger to be older and taller before the decision was made to make her a small child. And that was agreed upon, which I've also discussed that on my Kryptonian Saiyan channel if you want more information on it in both a short as well as a long form video. I think we have to at very least consider that there is a pivot made here with Himawari and Boruto. As cool as it would be to see Boruto with the chakra mode like we saw in Kishimoto's drawing, I don't think we'll see it per se because had there been something inside of Boruto, Jura would have sensed it in him right away the same way he sensed it with Himawari. Now you could argue that he was just more so focused on Boruto being genetically Otsutsuki and the urge to devour an Otsutsuki overtook any hints of what might be in Boruto. But personally, I think that's copium. I don't think that's the case. I'll probably regardless still get artwork of Boruto and Himawari and Biju chakra mode for this video's thumbnail. Maybe get the gold form because I'm not too sure how that red gold purplish color of Boruto's chakra mode will look on both boards on Himawari with a background for this thumbnail itself. I don't want the artwork to get too blended into the background. Now the story is clearly cooking something up to subvert expectations. I think that we can all agree upon that, but the only question is how much further is the narrative going to take this or could this be a complete departure from what Kishimoto originally planned with the chakra mode? Just because it was planned for Boruto and we obviously don't have Boruto Biju Chakra like we see Himawari. So perhaps the whole thing has shifted, which is a reminder. If you want to learn more about the official reason why Boruto didn't have a Byakugan, you'll want to click here for that video on why Naruto almost had a third child.